Uh, so today we're going to be talking about chapter 2, lesson 2, which are the Mesopotamian empires. Now the first lesson, just to kind of review a little bit, was about uh, the geographic setting of Mesopotamia and some of the religion and uh, that way. Uh, so today we're going to get into um, two of the larger empires at the time. All right, so your notes for this lesson, what I would like you to do is make a Venn diagram. All right, so... Again, a Venn diagram, you know, has two or three circles um, where you're comparing different uh, different topics or cultures or civilizations, and uh, so these two different ones are going to be Babylon. All right, and then the other one is Assyria. All right, and then remember, in the middle, okay, so in the middle here, this is what the two have in common, or their similarities. All right, so we'll go through this to make sure that you put the right information in the right circle, and then we'll um, compound on this uh, once we get back uh, in the class. All right, so for Babylonia or Babylon, uh, it was an empire that was created by somebody named Hammurabi. All right, and we'll discuss more about Hammurabi because he was a very important figure uh, in history. Uh, but the location of Babylonia was great because it was right in the middle of everything, all right? And so it was considered a crossroads of trade. Everybody had to come in there or leave there uh, because all major roads went through Babylon. Uh, in 1760 BCE, uh, Hammurabi conquered the city of Mari. Uh, and this is kind of where Babylonia begins, and his conquests uh, of the area begin as well. Uh, but by 1600, so about 160 years later, uh, the empire had shrunk uh, and was destroyed. So, um, you know, we'll kind of get into some of the bottom of that, why that might have happened. Uh, however, again, some thousand years later almost, uh, the empire rose up again, uh, but quickly fell to its end as well. Right. Next, you have Assyria. All right, and with Assyria, it was located north of Babylon. All right, so we're talking probably more up along the lines of where Israel currently is today, so closer to the water, um, or where the country of Syria is today, where there's lots of problems going on. Uh, but the empire, you know, as we said, stretched from the Nile River to the Persian Gulf. Okay, um, it invented they invented the batting ram. So that's one unique trait about Assyria is that they invented uh, this unique weapon uh, that they used to besiege other. Uh, nations, all right. Uh, their largest city, the city of Nineveh, uh, had a large library. So this shows that uh, Assyria was dedicated to learning and, uh, and keeping knowledge. And then finally, uh, they were defeated by the Medes and Chaldeans in 612 BCE. Okay. And similarities between the two are that they both were vicious warriors in their quest for riches. All right, so they both wanted. Uh, to gain as much wealth as they possibly could because at this time the wealthy you were uh, the more powerful you were and by wealthy I'm not talking in terms of gold and silver I'm talking in terms of land and water resources okay uh, but they also both even though they were both vicious warriors they built these great cities where the culture and learning were valued all right so even though they were vicious warriors still the uh, the idea of the arts and the and and learning was a top priority to both of them. All right. So this is kind of what your notes would look like. Um, if you have any questions, bring them to class. Otherwise, we'll get going right away with the activities as soon as we can. And we'll look at comparing how these two empires have shaped the world today. Have a great day.